written the word Karachi on envelopes and things a number of times, and um, I've never been there myself. But it was a very nice, pleasing idea for me to have that little connection. Armed with a white coat belonging to Joy, a Cambridge osteopath, I set off to Karachi to search for Joy's match and some common ground with her story. Hello, 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 yes, yeah, the doctor there. Is the doctor there? Okay, when will he be back? Okay, no, 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 it's okay. No. Thank you, thank you, bye bye. I was wondering if, uh, no, no, we have everything, no, it's fine, the food is fine, thank you, thank you. I was wondering if um, you know of any osteopaths in Karachi? Yeah, or they have doctors, physiotherapists, no, yeah, anything like that. Okay, thanks very much. Okay, all right, that was too, too soon. Bye bye. Dr. Ali. Yes, thank you. Great to speak to you. Yes, I'll see you at four o'clock. Yeah. See you later. Thank you. Bye bye. I'm so sorry we missed you. I am here. Sorry. It's a misunderstanding. No, I quite understand. Okay. Bye. Bye. I realised that perhaps I'd been trying to look too hard to contrive an osteopathic match for Joy. Perhaps the answer was right under my nose. By chance I was staying in the home of a remarkable man, a doctor who died before I had a chance to meet him. A man whose life lay all around me generously shared by his widow and his daughter. A leader in the student movement, a man who, like Joy, dedicated himself to healing others. <laughs> 